All right guys, we're doing a herd check. Brooks and I are starting a little project. Four and one of our Wolverine cows decided they're not getting along today. I got something new. You may have noticed it on the truck that has been a huge a game changer for us and make things so much easier and safer for us, especially for that guy right there. Check Hello. out. Hello. Brooks says hi. Just make sure he'll be like. Whoa, attention getter right there. <laughs> Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Happy Easter, guys. I wanna thank 3C for sponsoring us today, hooking us up with an awesome feeder. As you can see, that is all so much easier. Right here, we're using this remote. Can do it all right here and manual from right here as well. So we can set it up, set it down all the way. Down just like that. Augers right there and then runs out. So we've done this a couple of times, which held about 1100 pounds of feed right here guys 3c cattle feeders comes with some heck of a bright lights a peephole right here in the center got a couple cubes and i filled it up yesterday lights here there's a box here you can get access to to work on some things still learning a lot about it but i absolutely love it hydraulic pump here you can see the two hydraulic hoses um, and this is where the uh, hydraulic fluid is runs this right here you can see the other one way back in there but so you can do manual here and then the remote as well i'm gonna set this on top so we're, we're done with it boom right there little hooks to uh hook onto for the flatbed straps ropes whatever got this um, extra bar here to wrap whatever you're um, pulling or you got on your bed. If you want to haul some stuff, um, you can strap it to this, rope it to this, whatever it may be. 3C Cattle Feeders, guys. A local company, some good people um, here that we've known for a long time, been wanting to do something with them, and uh, finally came around to doing it. It's much safer on us. Marissa's already came out and drove it all by herself and done everything by herself. and so much better for our family um and less dirty too look out when we were doing the bags in the truck dust would get everywhere and everything it was just a mess but we love this and you can see there and there's a timer on this so it does it in revolutions so we can see actually how much we're putting out all right here on the remote control sometimes there's a in cab deal uh, where you can operate it from there 3c makes those as well you can check out their website guys they have lots of good stuff this is probably their number one thing they make creep feeders as well great for cattle bison sheep goats whatever it is all right here at local i love it love supporting local and good people so nice to have on here i think we need a bison sticker on here what do you guys think i think we need a bison sticker on here for sure this is our 20 percent protein cubes right here um, for our bison they're hanging out right here next to me i can stop about halfway and what i like to do if you noticed in the video is it starts to auger out i can bounce this so i don't dispense it all out at once i like to bounce it and spread it out for the bison and spread them out really far because these guys they'll fight over their feet and here comes the big guy he's already learned about it he always runs me out of the way but big joe loves the feeder he already it didn't take him very long to figure out what comes out of that right there 
during the winter of course uh, we're feeding the uh, cubes just to get the protein count up because there's only six percent in our hay we can get 20 percent 24 percent even 32 percent 36 percent cubes you can kind of pick what you want everybody feeds something different i kind of go in between we don't want the cows gaining a lot of weight um because they're gonna start calving pretty soon we don't want them gaining weight in the last semester of their pregnancy so he's gonna not make me move okay he's gonna turn around big joe loves the new feeder he's the king right so when he's out here he's the first one to it he gets to be the first one to where's hoss oh i see him there he is he's back there his buddy yeah he loves it and it's safe for us safe for our family marissa's already been out here and driven it several times and feel safe with it and you can do it all from right here basically it's pretty sweet guys and you know there's some danger to uh feeding these animals they get excited they get rowdy they push each other around you know kind of down an assembly line and uh, i've even had them hit my door actually um before on this truck it's like candy to them right uh when they get this feed and now we can do cubes we are really boss ranching guys i mean this stuff is getting serious brooks and i are starting a little project um we are maya leave her alone come on maya 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 can't maya can't get back looks like a coyote out there they don't care about jackie it's just maya they worry about christy looking pregnant all right, Big Joe, you're gonna run me back in here. Oh. What do you think they're gonna look like? They gonna look like regular eggs or are they gonna look different? Different. Are they gonna be bigger or smaller? Smaller. They're turkey eggs. Are turkeys bigger than chickens or smaller than chickens? They're big. They're bigger. So you think their eggs are bigger? Really? No? No, yeah. What about a dinosaur? Big eggs. Right? So what do you think these are gonna be? Should be speckled. Easy. Gotta be careful. Uh, they're not much bigger. Actually, are they? Okay, very careful. They're spotted, aren't they? <laughs> There's six eggs. Look at them, they're all protected in here. You gotta keep them protected. Ooh. Making me a little nervous. Oh. These are real grand eggs too. So these turkeys are the ones that you saw in the backyard. That's what kind these are. We're gonna rotate them around a little bit. And move them around. Now, the thing is, we just hope they hatch. Right, Brooksy. Oh, it's real six up. in there. Huh? Six? Yep, six, six in this batch, and then we've got another 12 coming up. Eastern wild turkeys.
These are Rio Grands because the Rio Grands are hard to get, but Rio Grands are the ones that natively occur here. You can get more Easterns, basically. And I know some people that have raised the Easterns and let them go here, so. We'll try them. Are they, they look like normal turkeys? Are they white or? <clears throat> no, they're not white. Not white turkey. Normal looking, native looking. Turkeys. Don't domestic. laugh at me. I'm asking the question because <laughs> I your... I don't know the difference between those domestic. Yes. Yeah, the white ones are all domestic. White. Um, I forgot the name of them. I've been looking at them online, but the white ones are the ones we used to raise at the farm with the sheep when I grew up. Oh, you raised turkeys? A couple. I didn't Just know that. Tom and a couple of hens, I guess we had. When we get our other twelve in, we'll start the incubator. Um, put them together. Oh. Maybe. Chickens and turkeys together? Mm -hmm. Well, the turkeys might pick on the chickens, though. Dan, Dan and DJ do that. The arms, they have their turkeys roaming with their chickens. With baby chicks? Maybe. I probably could put them together. I want to put them together tomorrow. But we're going to oh. let them go at the Ponderosa when they get big. When the turkeys get big, we're going to let them go and let them see if they can live. The uh, rooster's going to eat them? We hope not. <laughs> not a rooster. It's the raccoons or the coyotes. But that's why Jackie's there. But that's why Jackie's there. Jackie can take them. Jackie can take care of them. And Jackie can leave. She can, but she needs to stay there. You need to open it or you want to get them all out? And... Yeah, I'm going to get them all out. I'm ready to go. Usually when they these people ship them, they check to see if they're fertile first. So hopefully they're all good. All right, let's go ahead and put them in there. I've got them all sitting out here. <clears throat> You're gonna do them all together? I made maybe we'd space them out, mix in some chicken eggs with them so you if one or because that middle ring is also. For eggs, too? Uh-huh. These are all different shapes and sizes. Yeah, they are. That's a big guy. Okay. You can bit. add chicken eggs if you want. There's lots of space. Yeah, we should definitely. How many? How many That's just what I grabbed. We can add more here in a second. water in it? It's over here. <clears throat> Turkey eggs, I think, are a little bit longer than chicken eggs. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. No, they are. They are. Um, sure. So these are, on these turkey <clears throat> eggs, some of you are going, well, why are you doing this? Why are you turkey eggs out of, you, we have plenty of chickens. That's not a problem. But, um, and one of the reasons is turkey eggs. Um, there's a guy that's not very far from us. Several years ago when I was in high school, he raised a bunch of Eastern uh, turkeys and let them out and let them go. And he started with 30, ended up getting to a flock of like 90 around uh, Grandma Joy's property. They actually thrived. And so I was like, I've not seen one turkey on this property. And you, see, you used to see these turkeys everywhere. Rio Grande, which are these six right here. I bought some Eastern uh, and some Rio Grande. But I'm like, there's none at the Ponderosa. So we're going to attempt. And I know there's going to be some <clears throat> predation when you let them go. But we're going to try something new. I can at least try, you know. If they don't all survive, we can say that we tried. But I do want to start a turkey population over here and i'd like to and we have the creek we have all the big um trees we have oak trees we have 
uh, cottonwoods, pecans. So a lot of good cover. And for everything that we do, we want to create native habitat on our property with the bison. Got the deer, all the other critters. So let's bring the turkeys back. You wanted to do the quail, Bob, or the whatever it was called, but yeah, they they for sure don't survive. Yeah, so Bob White quail is something that you it's hard to bring back. Yeah. So we'll start yeah. with turkeys. We'll start with turkeys. Lots of people do this. They'll raise them. They'll grow them. They'll let them <clears> out, and then people <throat> go hunt them. That's not what we're trying to do. Um, and they do that with quail too. They'll raise the quail, let them go, and people go hunt them. That's not our target, so. All right, it's started. We'll set the... Actually, you do have to set it to turkey versus chicken because it's how many days it rotates for. Oh. So you need to figure that out, actually. Oh, okay. Hope you guys have a wonderful Easter. Thank you guys for watching us. Keep on Boston Ranching. We'll see you guys soon.